Morning year two for English today. We're still going to be looking at Lila and the rain, but we're going to be doing a little bit of adjective work. I'll say you say adjective. Maybe pause the video now and have a chat with your adults or make some notes. What do you remember an adjective to be? I think everybody knows this, so pause the video, write down or chat with your adult what is an adjective. Okay. Hopefully you've said an adjective is a describing word. It describes a noun. So we use adjectives all the time and there's lots of adjectives in our Lila and the Rain story. So as a bit of a fun warm up, if you've got a whiteboard and a pen or just a piece of paper or you could write on the back of your pack perhaps on the blank bit, I'm going to show you a picture slowly and all I want you to do is write down some adjectives for it. So you're going to just describe it. So, for example, if I was to describe my scissors using an adjective, I could say red scissors. If I want to be fancy and try like we do in our writing to put two AD, I could say red sharp scissors. Two adjectives, two AD. If you can only do one, that's fine. So let's have a look at this picture and you can write down what you can see. So, it looks dark, so we could use black, but we learnt a new word last English lesson, which was ebony, didn't we? So we could say ebony dark, and we don't know what it is yet, but I think it might be a sky. So ebony dark sky. Let's see what else is there. You might want to pause the video each time. Oh, oh wow, what could that be? The first thing that pops in my head for an adjective is the colour, so purple. I don't just want one though, I want two, so I could say purple, bright. And I don't know what it is yet. What it might be, if we think about Lila, something that happened in that story, so it might be purple light, lightning. Purple bright, oh, purple bright lightning. Purple comma bright lightning you could write something down or you could talk to your adult if you don't want to write it down like you just would do in class to me it almost looks like a firework display this here looks like the tree roots it could be a hand reaching out from the sky a long witch claw like strip of lightning you could say white bright lightning coming out of the sky like a bolt coming out of the sky looking like the roots of an old oak tree you could write lots you could say lots oh look we've got another one it does look like the tree roots lots of different directions bright purple sparkling purple Cackling witch's hand pointy and sharp in all directions. Okay. So you should have had a go at just saying a few adjectives, writing a few down, just to warm our brains up. So before we start our work, which today is the sheet that looks like that, you've got two pictures from the Lila and the Rain story. And then on the other side, you've got another picture. Your job today is going to be to write in the box or underneath an adjective sentence hopefully you'll write two ad sentences so two adjectives so let's just remind ourselves of some adjectives before we have a look so let's have a see let's move me so i'm not right in the middle of it an adjective is a describing word There was a spider in the bathroom, so that's a really simple sentence. We had an adjective, we could say, there was a huge, comma, hairy spider in the bathroom. We've got our two AD there, two adjectives separated by a comma. A slug in my kitchen, bit of a boring sentence, let's add our adjectives. A slimy, comma, sticky slug was in my kitchen. Good, they both begin with set as well, got a bit of alliteration. You could have a think, maybe pause the video. Hey, would you describe that slug with two adjectives? I found a tiny ladybird on a big leaf. A blue and white butterfly 
flew into my house. So you don't always have to have a common between it. You can use and. Butterfly is our noun because it's something we can touch. Our adjectives describe it. Flew is our verb. It's a doing word. The wiggly, comma, pink worm dug through the soil. Okay. So your job now, you've reminded yourselves what adjectives are, is to use the pictures and write an adjective sentence. So it could be, on the first picture, the bright white moon. You don't have to describe all the picture. It could be the red hot sand. You could talk about the feelings of the people in that picture. So they're quite sad there, aren't they? Because it was too hot. So the sad upset hot family then do the same for this one i can see the big round sun or circular sun you could talk about the cattle that are here you've just got to write a sentence to describe something in each of the pictures so this one is where she's climbing the huge tall mountain maybe you could talk about the bare trees the sandy hot floor that her feet are on. Okay, up to you. Once you've done a sentence for each of those, you'll see on the other side it says, What can the story tell us about Kenya? So I just want you to jot, you don't have to fill every circle, what village life is like in Kenya. So we know for one it's hot. We know for two it doesn't rain that often. We know they have wells. We looked at that last lesson. We know they have lots of cattle. We know they grow lots of crops. Think about the houses they might live in. Okay, so you don't have to fill them all in, but think about what life might have been like in a village or life is like in a village in Kenya. And if you want to use the internet and do a bit of research too, that's fine. Okay, look forward to seeing your work as always.